Welcome back, guys. We got some more ocarina for you. By we, I mean, you know, me. Anyway, so here we are. We're going to be doing the Bigoron, Bigoron, I don't know how you pronounce it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Sword Quest. Let's go with red because I like red. Um, I don't know what the quickest way is. Probably, yeah, definitely would be this way. Uh, is this how I remember it? Fuck, nope, no it's not. Fuck, I can't. It's been a while since I last played, so I don't remember anything. Oh, All right, it's, uh, okay, got it. Okay. Derp, derp, derp. Anyway, so, the Begoyan Sword quest is gonna take a while. Uh, I figure maybe it's kinda long. So it is going to be a while to, until we get into the next temple, which should be, uh, probably I'm going to go for the spirit temple next, uh, but there is something I'm going to grab in the shadow temple beforehand. Uh, so there is a reason why we had to warp here. We have to give, um, a dude the blue chicken. I don't care what it's called. Shut up. Get out of my face, please. <laughs> it's like, well, you're kind of in my way. So, yes. Just gotta make your way through. Now, I don't know how to navigate through this backwards, so I'm just gonna go this way. Alright, chicken. That was not necessary, but whatever. It's gonna be easier just to exit out this way and then go back in. Cause he's gonna be like right at the entrance anyway. And the chicken just has to chirp again, whatever. Here we go. And he's just like see, panicking. It's like, oh my god! Kajiro, why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means, you, you must be a nice guy. You must be, you must be. Please Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver the stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Okay, so now we gotta go to the uh, mushroom. Okay. okay, so we've got three minutes. There's a variety of ways you can get to Kakariko. You can, you know, exit through, you know, the forest. Um, it looks like the quickest way might be going up through Death Mountain. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, here's what I'm gonna do. There is a pathway to get into the Goron City through here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take it. So some of these things are gonna be timed, so you just gotta be aware of that. Some may be a little bit more ridiculous than others. Oh, and big tip. You cannot use any of the warp songs if your item is timed. The time will drop instantly down to zero. So, this kind of sucks. Uh, I forgot to mention, uh, for the Begoran Sword, Begoran, whatever you want to call it, I don't fucking care. I'm only going to be using it, ma using it maybe like once, at least. But, it's just... It's just an add-on thing I want to do for the series, you know, just to make it last a bit longer. And I'm just gonna just backflip. Oh yeah, this is definitely quicker because I can just, just jump off here. Cool, I'll take that no damage. Thanks. So yeah, it's been about a month since I last played only because I wanted to get started on some other things which I have. Uh, but it's gonna be a while before anyone actually sees them. I'll be going back to some Postal 2, uh, as you guys may have seen, uh, just the other day. For you guys, I recorded that a while ago, actually. So yeah, this place is still, you know, wet. Oh wait, can I actually just hookshot, um, that? Or long shot, sorry. I'm just gonna say hook shot. Fuck it. I don't care. 
So basically, we just gotta get into the back here. Oh, it's gonna be one of these situations again, ain't it? Oh, so the rain will not go away until you defeat um, the Shadow Temple boss. If you're curious. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Here's where we gotta go. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Apparently that has to be put into text. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. Oh. Right. There you go. That bomb, he had to go into the forest. I see. I love how she says it. It's like, hey, give it to me. And not sure what she does with it. Probably shoves it up her asshole. If you, probably like a natural tampon. <laughs> oh my god. If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. You received an odd potion. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. All right, I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, here we go. Yet again. Yeah, so now we gotta go back to the Lost Woods and give this thing to that dude. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. It's gonna be a lot of running back and forth, and and even then, it's just you know, your accuracy sucks. You fail at life. Well, all right, later, dude. <laughs> I thought he would. I thought he would like just poke me off, but nope. He's like, well, I am now a terrible guard. Somebody, please end my life. Don't worry, dude. I did that earlier. <laughs> I killed you earlier. Like, whenever can you say that, really? Oh, look at that. My internet died. Awesome. Oh no, he's not here. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody's Stalfos. Oh, he's not here anymore. Only a saw is left. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Okay, you turned the old odd potion and got the poacher saw. The young punk must have left us behind. Are you gonna be too? Referring to, are you gonna be a Stalfos too? Nah, man, we got this. We'll be fine. So, but Stalfos, that's like those weird skeleton dudes. Like, do they just die? That's some creepy pasta for you. Creepy pasta with marinara sauce and meatballs. Mmm, delicious. It tastes so good. It tastes very good. So now we have to go to Gerudo Valley and bring this poacher saw to the dude that isn't even for the dude. Okay, that's the wrong thingy. You dumb horse. Get over here. I need to ride you. Oh hey, how's it going horsey? It's time for me to ride you now. I only have four arrows. What did I waste them all on? All oh, right, spiders. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun adventure. <sighs> hey, sup po dude. I don't care about you. So I know um, it looks like I'm going a really weird way. Don't worry about it. Just, just don't worry about it. 
I have to go around anyway. Because there's this big ledge. I'm sure, I could have gone the other way too, but it doesn't matter. Why is my internet still fucked up? Like, I got the little yellow triangle of death. Which basically means, oh, something's wrong with your connection. And now if you guys can hear music, that's not from me. Uh, great. Well, this may be my only video I can record in the session. Awesome. Thanks for fucking it up. I'm... So it doesn't really make sense why I have to... Oh my god, horse. As, I was, as I'm trying to say, it doesn't make sense why I gotta deliver the, the poacher saw to a, to a different dude. But whatever, right? Oh my god, horse! You fucking suck! Dude, get over this goddamn bridge. Beef! Come on, dude. Really? When is your fucking malfunction? What the hell? Why can't you jump it? I've never had this much trouble jumping a goddamn bridge. I'd rather deal with the bridge again and left for dead. Thank you! God! Oh my gosh. Anyway, here you go. Have your fucking saw back. That isn't even yours. Hey, that saw, it's mine. Oh, apparently it is yours. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Okay. Some, there's some weird relationship issues going on here. My bigger on to a broke, so I was going to go to Goron City to get it repaired. Your coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Good kid. Thanks. I'm sorry that I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyway, I guess. You traded the poacher saw for a broken bagorn for a broken corn sword. Well, shit. There's a big bigger on to get it repaired. Yes. So here's what we have to do now. On the next episode, we will go to Death Mountain and visit a big Goron. Basically, this is only gonna take two parts. So, well, supposedly. Until next time.